Hello, today I want to show you some tips and tricks regarding development K8200 printer. One of the printer's weaknesses is the wobbly Z-axis mount. I replaced it with a stronger version, which keeps the motor perfectly stable in place. SDI files for this mount can be found on the internet, so you can print your own version. I noticed that the stepper motor drivers got really hot, so I added some small SMD heatsinks to them. It's nearly impossible to make the printing pad even. A solution for this problem is to use a mirror as printing pad. IKEA offers a 20 x 20 cm mirror which fits very well. I use blue tape to cover the mirror. This makes objects stick very well on the bed while printing. You can find this kind of tape in the painter section of building centers or do-it-yourself stores. The tape has to be applied without pimples. I like to use a ruler to press the tape on the mirror. Be sure to align the pieces without much overlapping. Now I place the mirror on the printer pad and turn the tape down so that it holds the mirror in place. I use a bit of this paper-like tape to fix the mirror even better and I like to use this kind of tape because it's easily removable. Now this is a pretty nice, flat and even surface for printing. In order to get good prints, it is important to calibrate the z-axis. Move the nozzle to each corner of the bed and adjust the bed with the two knurled nuts. I use a piece of paper in order to find the right distance between nozzle and printing pad. After all corners have been calibrated, you can move the nozzle to any position and there should be just enough space for a piece of paper to slide between nozzle and bed. My filament broke after I haven't used the printer for a couple of days. 
Moving the extruder up for about 15 cm can help to save the filament because there remains less pressure on it. I hope some of these tips can help you. Have fun printing and thanks for watching.